The Hamburg pilot project More Men in Daycare involves all Hamburg social services and major daycare providers. The project coordination team and 58 participating daycare centers are fighting for more men in daycare. The work can be divided primarily into two aspects, marketing measures geared toward attracting interested male candidates and the development of relevant topics with experts. Once a year a large conference with lectures and workshops is held. The first conference took place in 2011 and had a good turnout with 140 participants. And this conference was only the beginning. In five work groups focused on vocational orientation, qualification, daycare management, abuse of power and men in daycare centers, concepts are worked out, goals are set and career networks are established. I take the outcomes of the work groups into the daycare center where it bears fruit. It's fun and enriches the work. It is enriching for me, as principal of three daycare centers, to encounter people from all areas of work. It is a very diverse environment. In addition, we develop continuing education courses and provide such to meet specific needs of model daycare projects. Parallel to these activities targeted primarily toward daycare and provider personnel, as well as public officials, a publicity campaign draws attention to and generates interest in this topic. In all subway and regional train stations, a broad campaign of print ads featuring actual male daycare educators advertises the diversity of this occupation. I think it is a nice idea to broaden the professional image of this job, since there is so much more to it than hanging out and changing diapers. It involves taking on a wide range of responsibilities. For me, it has become very apparent through the posters. I ride the subway daily and have noticed that suddenly people have clearly become synthesized and that we as school are called to action. That felt motivating. The homepage explains in detail all aspects of the vocation and training. In several films on the YouTube channel, childcare workers give insights into the job. And the project is on Facebook and has a growing number of active fans. The marketing activities are delivering results on all levels. I am the coordinator for vocational orientation at our school. I have noticed that people from outside, people from associated companies or daycare providers, have come to us and have asked how they can become involved. And even the students have mentioned the print ads to me and what a great campaign it is. Two especially great efforts should be mentioned here. At a vocation orientation fair, a screening took place to find the best model for a diversity man, mini-me doll, for the 58 participating daycare centers. After an exciting and close voting contest on Facebook, both Banked and Gorby were finally chosen as models for the mini-me dolls. Both have dealt with the vocation of daycare. I think the basic idea is simply wonderful. I've never seen a more beautiful marketing campaign with such a nice idea behind it. Namely, to gently rock more men into this occupation in a very nice way. That's why I was only too happy to participate. Male support for every daycare center, even if only in miniature. And all the participating daycare centers are actively involved. One day, all the employees of the participating daycare center, the Omelis, wore the campaign t-shirt. This provided an opportunity to discuss the topic of men in daycare centers with parents. The parents were very receptive. Um, I am absolutely all for more men in daycare facilities. That is what often is missing. This daycare center has a relatively high amount of men, which was one of the main reasons we chose this center. Since the start of the printed ad campaign, a third aspect has become even more important, counseling. More than 260 consultations for potential educators, sometimes with concrete assistance, have been given. At the same time, we are working together with public officials to improve qualification measures and access to public grants. Beyond that, we are promoting the concept of more men in daycare facilities in a very special way. 
Guido, one of the faces of the campaign and childcare worker in training, gives daycare children beatboxing lessons. The children love the male presents, they receive special speech training and develop their self-confidence. And many young male trainees, as well as young men fulfilling their voluntary social year, receive an interesting insight into daycare work. To conclude a few facts and figures. 18,000 visitors on our homepage. 20,000 clicks on our YouTube channel. More than 100 press articles about the project and a 13% share of men in the daycare centers of the project. And of the students enrolled in the vocational training for childcare, over 18% are men. Certainly a promising start.